Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is, what is SQL Server uh, clustering? Uh, when SQL Server is installed using a Windows Server failover uh, clustering feature, that's called uh, fa SQL Server clustering. What happened is SQL Server gets installed on Windows failover, Windows Server failover clustering as an application. So all the resources related to SQL Server uh, becomes part of that cluster. So it's uh, it goes back to high availability. So once we install SQL Server in clustering mode, uh, it's a different installation than standalone mode. So SQL Server needs to be installed in clustering mode in order to take advantage of Windows clustering uh, failover clustering feature. Uh, as soon as we install SQL Server in uh, clustering mode, um, it that application which is SQL Server uh, becomes high available. Uh, as far as uh, application accessing SQL Server goes. So what's underneath, uh, what's behind the SQL Server uh, clustering or what's behind uh, the uh, uh, Windows clustering and how it is uh, set up. If you don't know all that, please watch my video, um, uh, Windows uh, 2012 uh, SQL Server clustering and Windows 2012 uh, um, uh, clustering setup. I have uh, explained step by step how to create cluster, uh, how to add feature or configure uh, Windows uh, failover cluster, and then how to install SQL Server in clustering mode. Everything is step by step if you wanted to know a bit more detail. But just to answer this question, when SQL Server installation is done in a uh, use, taking the advantage of Windows failover clustering and it's installed in a clustering mode that is what's called what it, uh, that, that's called SQL Server clustering and I hope it helps.